So, hey, saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and we are continuing our prayers against the New Age movement. So, today, we are going to be praying against the ascended masters of the New Age movement. Remember, with all the chaos and confusion going on, you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. You do not have a spirit of fear. You have the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. So let's do this. This ministry is for everyone. If someone tells you this is just not my ministry, then they are cowards and they do not have Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Ruach HaKodesh living in them. Because we have come to be a ministry of reconciliation. We are to heal the sick raise the dead, cleanse the lepers. We are to do what Jesus did, and that is be a deliverer. We are his hands and feet. So today, saints, I come in the name of the resurrected Yahushua Hamashiach, whose I am and whom I serve, that at the name of Yahushua, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Yahushua Hamashiach is Lord to the glory of God the Father. An ascended master is defined by the New Age movement as a highly evolved being who has progressed through all experiences that this planet can offer and no longer needs to incarnate. That means be born. The writers of the New Age movement state that the masters of wisdom already have evolved through the five inner experiences known as initiations. These are so-called ascended masters and are in reality the strong man that are ruling the demonic order in the heavenlies. These demonic forces can and should be attacked in the heavenlies and bound in Yahushua HaMashiach's name according to Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10. A guru is simply a spiritual teacher and indicates no particular rank. Oh my. <laughs> Masters take a male body in their last incarnation for energetic reasons, for there is no such thing as a gender on the soul level, saints. Wake up. The first stage of the teaching, which reveals the existence of the masters to the West, came through Helena, or Helena Blavatsky. She was a co-founder of the Theosophical Society, the Isis Unveiled and the Secret Doctrine. This teaching was to precede the advent of the New Age and pave the way for it. I'd say they paved it pretty good, didn't they? The second phase of esoteric teachings was presented in Alice Bailey's books. She acted as the amanuensis, whatever that is, for Master Joao Cole, obviously a forerunner. As early as 1948, the imminent return of Christ was foretold. After 1975, the Christ would be in the world. The women's movement is said to have been inspired by the hierarchy of the masters. Remember, saints, you are dealing with demonic entities. You're not dealing with ascended masters and spirit guides. They are demons. And if you patty cake with them, you're going to pay the tune. Repent! Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Let me say that again. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known the assembly, the called out ones, the manifold wisdom of of Yahuwah, according to the eternal purpose, which he purposed in Yahushua HaMashiach, our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith in him, of him. Ha, hallelujah. 
it helps to know the word of God, saints, and where you stand and what your authority is. Study to show yourself approved, a workman not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of Yahuwah. Masters of wisdom, or in other words, strong men, demon spirits. Father God, we come against, bind, rebuke, cast out, and give no access to Master Jesus. This tremendously powerful ruling spirit, saints, is the New Age Christ. And he is in your church. He is in your congregation. He is sitting next to you on a pew every Sunday, every Wednesday, and at every supper. He is the strong man right now over the Christian church. Oh, shock. <laughs> Some of our friends might not like this, Sister G. He and his operates, his operatives, demons, will try to establish heaven on earth. Ooh, does that sound familiar? Through word faith. Through the manifest sons of God, the reconstructionists, the dominion movements, currently known as the NAR. Wow. And they will physically move anybody out of the way who will not follow their teachings. Beware and be warned, saints. Beware and be warned. You're looking at Zhuo Kul, Master DK, also known as the Tibetan. This evil spirit is responsible for the enormous educational effort through the writings and teachings of Alice Bailey. The people that are following, you're talking about the New Apostolic Reformation. More than likely, whoever you're following has been contaminated and compromised by this spirit. You're looking at... Um, all of this being new age, uh, it's nothing new. It's, it's old. It's just been repackaged. Remember, they are going to establish heaven on earth. Come on, saints. Do your own research. Master DK, Zhuo Kul, known as the Tibetan. The English master. This spirit, this evil spirit reportedly resides in Britain and guides the Anglo-Saxon race and plans its future development. He sponsors the worldwide labor movement and is occupied with economic problems. Oh, shock again. Look around, saints. Master Hilarion, Saul of Tarsus. The apostle was an earlier incarnation. This demon energizes psychic research everywhere. He and his minions started the spiritualist movement. Do your research, saints. Master K.H. Kut Humi. He is the ruling spirit who will succeed the Lord Matreya as the world teacher in the future. Probably in the really near future. He was involved with founding the theosophical movement. Master Moria this ruling spirit is one of the best known masters of wisdom. He works closely with Master KH. He inspires statesmen and works to carry out racial evolution. Oh, shock again. Master R. Rakoxi. This ruling spirit works largely through esoteric rituals and ceremonies and carries out plans of the Executive Council of the Lodge. Oh, what lodge are we speaking of? Could it be the lodge, you know, the Freemasons, Prince Hall Freemasons, the Illuminati? Wake up! Father God, help us. Master P, this demon works under the Master R in North America and is connected with such esoteric mental sciences as New Thought and Christian Science. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'd never get I'd never get mixed up with that. Well, you have. How about Master Serapis or Serapis? This powerful demon is the energizing force behind the great art movements of the world, the evolution of music, painting, and drama. 
at present. He works with the diva or angel evolution until their agency makes possible great revelations in the world of music and painting, which lie immediately ahead. Saints, there's so many more that you need to be praying against. Your mind is the battlefield. And if you are in these movements to establish heaven on earth, you are in the wrong movement. And if you are listening to a ministry that is talking about the movement, the new era, let's just go ahead and say it. Let me throw out some names. Uh, Chuck Pierce, Dutch Sheets, Graham Cook, Phyllis Schreier. Mm, let's just keep naming some names. Those are just a few that, you know, kind of off the top of my head. Um, a lot of them have tried to distance themselves from certain individuals. Yeah, you got Todd Bentley. You got all of these prophets. Remember, saints, when you start calling yourself a prophet and other people start calling you a prophet and you start making money and you start raking in the millions and you're writing books and you're advertising CDs and books and plans to get free and you're selling all kinds of materials to people and you're allowing people to drink wine and come into the sanctuary and you have completely thrown holiness out of the door and the house of the Lord is no longer a house of prayer, but of dens of thieves. 501c3 nonprofit corporations labeled as a church. Hmm. Shock. I didn't come here to make friends. I didn't come here to patty cake. I've been given authority and I've been given power. We have the answers. Not in somebody's book or writing or enlightened New Age philosophy. It's in the good old, well, you can't see it, the good old holy scriptures. Yep. Well used, well marked, torn pages, missing pages. You don't need to sign, saints. Jesus said it is an evil generation that seeks after a sign. He already gave you one. He died on the cross. That's the only movement you need to be a part of. So since you know all about the Ascended Masters and the New Age movement, then pray against it that the New Age movement doesn't control your mind, will, and emotions. If you will hide the word in your heart, so that you don't sin against the Lord. And you would use that word, that spoken word of God, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing, even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Saints, there's a reason that it says it divides between the soul and spirit. Because if you're still into your soulical mind, and you're doing all of this new age guru ascended master stuff and you're going into and out of heaven and you're having all kinds of visions and dreams and you're full of ecstasy and just overwhelming sensations of euphoria and happiness and love you need deliverance open the book the book of life the holy scriptures the true book get into the pure word of God for yourself and get delivered. It's sister with a testimony. I'm praying for you to be delivered from the new age movement. I'm praying for you to come out from among them and be ye separate. The true called out ones are the assembly. We're on the old ancient pathway and we're not going to be knocked off because the word of God is very emphatic about the narrow path. 
There are few that find it and walk therein, and there are going to be few found on it when Christ comes back. 